Hey everyone, it's Blakely with Cooking for Bimbos and I am here today to show you a really great 4th of July dessert. I'm going to do a red, white, and blueberry trifle and it's so good and very fast and you can make it ahead of time and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make some whipped cream. So I have some heavy whipping cream, about 8 ounces or a half pint. I'm going to put this in here as well as just a little bit of powdered sugar to sweeten it up. We're going to mix it all together until we get some nice stiff whipped cream. Perfect. Now you know it's done when it keeps a nice stiff peak just like that. You don't want to overdo it or else you'll make butter. So we're going to set this to the side. And now I have 10 ounces of softened cream cheese that I'm going to do. I'm also going to do the zest of a lemon right in, here, right in here. It's really gonna make it nice and bright. Flavor. Put some lemon zest. I'm also gonna squeeze half the lemon into it. Just like that. Watch for seeds. Perfect. And then we have some confectioner sugar, just a little bit. About two tablespoons or so. And then we're gonna do some vanilla extract, just a little bit. We're gonna whip it until it's nice and smooth and, and light. Perfect. We just wanna add some air into it. So now, to get this even more light, what I'm gonna do is just take about half of the whipped cream in here. Mix it up just like this. Get that consistency lighter and then we're going to fold in the rest of the whipping cream and we're folding it as opposed to stirring it because we want to keep that those air bubbles in there and keep it really light the rest of our whipping cream in here we're going to fold it in just like this until it's all mixed together in light so we keep all those bubbles just like that Go from the middle, out. Perfect, now it's time to assemble our trifle. So this is done, it looks perfect. So I have, I'm gonna do individual and if you wanna do a full trifle you can, but I like these individual ones because you can put the lid on it and it's perfect because they're ready to go. So we're gonna start off with red, obviously. I'm using strawberries, but if you have, wanna do raspberries, that's fine too. I'm gonna do some angel food cake, which I love, it's nice and light. I'm gonna put a little bit of angel food cake in there. Now if you don't have angel food cake, you can always just use, like a pound cake would be okay. You can use just any kind of white cake. I'm gonna do a big dollop of our cream cheese mixture right in there. You know, red, white, and then for blue, I am using fresh, beautiful blueberries. But if you wanna use blackberries, you can too. We're just gonna keep layering the red, white, and blue right in here. So look at how adorable these are. You have the red, white, and blue, very patriotic and very delicious. And I can't wait to get into it because it's gonna be so good, nice and light. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> nice and light and lemony and fresh, and you're gonna love it. Cheers. <laughs> 